tātou ko te rāroa te aupauri ahau, uh, nō muri whenua whānui, um, ko Irina Tuku Ingoa. I'm a kai arahi pona at Te Rito Te Kainga Reo, one of our pona reo here in Kui Kui a Muri Whenua. Originating from Pauringa, raised here in Muri Whenua my whole life and fortunate enough to be raised here in Muri Whenua. Hi. Uh, kia ora te whanau, ko Billy Harrison toku ingoa. Uh, he uri au no Ngāti Kahu no Te Rāroa. He kai whakairo, he kai tārai waka. Ai, he pāpa, uh, he tangata, Hi Kitty, hi there, what the heck? Yeah, total kotera. I watch a few of the episodes, mainly the ones of Fano here in Moody Fenua, like uh, Shane Jones, Peter Lucas, Raniera McGrath, uh, Anahira Herbert Greaves. For them to shine a new perspective on it, or even just look at at things from a different angle, was um, yeah, it was kind of cool for me because, like I say, I. You know, we're, we're living in a time now where um, social media is a big influence on the things that we um, perceive as, as true, you know, like you're, we're heavily influenced by it and so to hear things go back to, oh my tupuna Real did life, this and this yeah. is what they had to do, it was like far out. You know, that sort of took me back a little bit like, oh, it's happened before, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if they can do it, we can do yeah. it too. Yeah. You know, our tupuna fought hard and just, just hearing different corridor being passed on to different, um, to us, future generations, just to plan ahead and how we can be resourceful and sustainable in time and hard times like this, yeah. We're in a really good position in terms of, you know, we have a whare, we have whānau. During that time, we definitely realised our priorities, which is haiwara was one of them, and whānau. We really put our mahi into creating a mahinga kai. Um, so yeah, we're really focused on our whenua here and being able to provide a space where we could sustain ourselves as whānau. We managed to do some building and we really got to spend some time with our whānau and actually know them. But obviously it did come with challenges as well. Yeah, because as Māori, you know, a lot of it is, a lot of our values is around whanaunga tanga and connecting with one another, kānohi ki te kānohi. Yeah, we utilised what we did have to become resourceful and find ways to deal with it. Um, there wasn't too many pressures on financial things because there was nothing we could do about it. The whole country was in lockdown. So um, we, we took, like Irina said, we took the time to hang out with our tamariki and work on our whare and work on ourselves. And then, you know, coming in and out of lockdown, I'd probably say was, that's where a lot of the challenges happened because during lockdown, a lot of mahi builds up, we can't do much. And then you go to mahi, you've got all this mahi that you have to get through. Um, and then you're smashing, smashing, trying to get it all done. And then bang, lockdown again. You know, so it was, that was challenging for us, was the in and out. A lot of the whānau have come home and they're starting new businesses and doing new mm. um, ventures and, and, you know, and are actually living, giving up the flashy life for the, for the whānau life, for the country life, for the, for the kids, um, for the beach, you know. Mm. Um, and so for me that's probably where I, where yeah. I, I think is, is, is a massive positive that's come out of, um, out of the whole pandemic is whānau coming home. Um, Utilising time. Time, eh? time is a big one, yeah. Te tiro whakamuri kia anga whakamua to me means that there's no such thing as can't. Te tiro whakamuri kia anga whakamua to me means following the footsteps of our tūpuna and leading the way for our future generations.